Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome to Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my god, I remember when this game first came out and the hype around it. This was actually the first Mario game I ever played. Um, as you can see it's on the Switch and not the Wii. I had to unplug that, that poor thing. It lasted a pretty, some pretty good years, but... Anywho, I'm gonna do voices for the characters, um, so, anyway, let's do it. <clears throat> Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Evening, Mario! The Star Festival is starting! Yahoo! Hey, Mario, see this I have? Grab as many of them as you can! Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom! Yay, you're here! To pick up Star Bits, point your Joy-Con and move them over, over them with your pointer. Are you collecting Star Bits? Uh-huh, I am. The view from here is just the best. La 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 la. These star things look like candy, but they're actually star bits. They're so sparkly. Mario, you made it. Everyone's grabbing all the star bits they can. Yowza, just look at those star things. Yay, star bits. Isn't this the star bit, the shiniest you've ever seen? Yeah, I've seen shinier. Princess Peach is waiting for you at the castle. Woo woo. And it's you. Uh oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my best out of her voice. <clears throat> Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> this festival's over! <clears throat> it's Bowser! Protect the princess, I lost stay guard here. Well, what should we do? How could this happen? Panic and fear! Panic and fear! The festival is ruined! S -s stay calm, everyone! My body is trapped in that crystal thing! Oh! 
Go into my happy place. Try not to panic. The princess is just up ahead. Okay, in order to lift something of that size, it would take an incredible amount of force. And I, uh, look, look just how fast they're lifting it. That is physically impossible for ships of that, for, I mean, take a look at the, the size of Bowser's ships. That is physically impossible. Well, this is Mario, and Mario nothing ever makes sense, so... Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Let's play hide and seek. If you can catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. This might be one of the longer Let's Plays because this is a really long game. Um, when I first played this, I almost got to the ending. Heck, I think I could have beaten it if you caught me <clears throat> if my Wii decided to continue loading our games. Back here, you little silly. You caught me! I should have hidden in the grass. Which grass exactly? There's like a bunch of grass. Well, you could have just told me. Jeez. I like how they give you hints as to where the others are. Get back here. I can't believe I let myself get caught. <clears throat> wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama.
I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. You have the ability to spin now. Shake a Joy-Con. You can also spin with Y. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the star and ours shine down on you. Shig and Joy Connor press Y to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. Ah, uh, yes, it's still got the motion controls. <clears throat> Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the starships to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Thanks for those really reassuring words. <clears throat> Never hesitate to get one ups. It, it never hurts to have extra life. Alright, there you go. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! You can shake Joy-Con or press Y to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Why am I running around in circles? Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform! Yay, one up. It never hurts to get extra lives. You might die a couple times throughout the course of this game, but it doesn't matter. Hurry! Down here! We've been waiting for you! That's a Grand Star! We had to save it! They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making... something. You have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. I wanted to really know what they're making. You, you can take as long as you want to save the Grand Star, it doesn't matter. Okay. Wanna cross? There 
we go. Too easy. I wonder what the other guy is. Anyway. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home, and ho home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. And perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Of course I want to save. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your pointer at the pole star and press A. If you lose sight of the pointer, you can reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap this pole star directly on the screen. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers re represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy rings are off the charts. Please be careful.
guys are called Octagoombas. They're easy to deal with. You need the coin to like heal yourself. You might recognize a familiar tune here. That's the underground theme. My friends are ahead. Hurry! Oh yes, it's still got the motion controls. remember those things what they were I do not know what they are that I do not know they're like leeches I don't know what they are what those are I don't know either they're like lava balls or something Gotcha. Do not hesitate to like get those guys. They have a lot of stars on them. Oh 
Uh oh. Run! There we go. Oh, he'd be angry. Get back here, you. Alright, one more hit should do it. Gotcha. Die. Those stars are star bits. To Lumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your Joy-Con at the screen and point your pointer at them to pick them up. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can also collect stars by tapping them directly on the screen. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming the pointer with the pointer and pressing ZR. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my feet for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Starbits will be a big help on your adventure. Alright, everyone. That's going to do it in for me for this episode. But thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to help me grow. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.